This is not Jesus. That's right. your pastor. He a liar. He be lying. Your pastor. He be lying. What color is this man? Why would you think Jesus is white? Who taught you that? Point to a building around here in this area who might have taught you that Jesus was white. Huh? Point down to the church of Christ. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't Jesus. Native Americans. Right. That's not what God called you. God calls you the Israelites. Yeah. Hey, how you doing today? I'm fine. What's, what's your name? My name is Zekayla Devonport. Zekayla Devonport. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? Yeah, hey, I'm Crip. You're what? Crip. You Crip? We do the same thing y'all yeah, do. Thank you for this. But let me ask you a question. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? No interruptions. Yeah, all right. Well, read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. Bring it up. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. So today, with the, with the angel, we call the angels in heaven and angels on earth to record this day against you. You will have no excuse to tell the Lord you never heard about this truth before. Right. But you're going to learn about this truth today. You're going to hear it. That's right. And guess what? You're going to be held accountable. So you have to make a decision today. Read. Right. That I have set before you life and death. So we put in the day before you life and death. Whether you want to live or you want to die, it's up to you. But we're going to give you some solutions on what you need to choose. Read. Blessing and cursing. Read. Therefore, choose life. So we need you to choose life. We're putting blessings and curses in front of you. He said choose life. We're going to show you what the life is and how to choose it. How you doing, sir? What y'all got? Oh, man, how you doing today? What's your name? What's your name, sir? Charles. Charles, how you doing? I'm Isaiah. Let me ask you something. You just came from church? Yeah. What did they teach you today? Not really. <laughs> hey, the brother just said the church ain't teach him nothing. But well, guess what? We at church right now. We gonna teach him though something. Is that all right? Yeah. All right. So I want to show you something. Do you know who you are according to the Bible? You're not really. Hey, look at that sign over there. Look at that sign. So on on one side is what God calls you. On the other side is what the what the world calls you. Which way you see yourself on that sign? You say Judah. The black American, okay, so the brothers say he's an African American, so guess what? God calls you Judah. That's right. You from the head tribe. Guess who else from Judah? Hey. Guess who else from Judah? You know, so you know Jesus, your blood, your, Jesus got your blood running in you, bro. You know that? All praise to the most high. But we're going to prove this to you by the scriptures. Watch this. Read that. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Read it. For it is evident that our Lord Spring out of Judah. So guess what? You and Christ is from the same tribe. You know you look like Christ? You know that beard you got on you? That look like, that's Christ-like? But, get, but what, what image is the Christian church showing us? Who is this right here? That's nobody. You nobody, right? Who is that one over there? That might be Jesus, right? Well, let's see what the Bible says and who it is. Give me Revelations 1 and start verse 1. Let's find out. Everything we say, we got to prove. Exactly. So everything we say, we're going to prove it out the Bible. We're going to bring it because we're not going to be like a Christian church and give you one scripture and just read and dance all day. We're going to show you, thus said the Lord, right? Read that. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. That means the revealing of Jesus Christ. They're going to reveal something about Jesus Christ. Christ. Read. Verse 14. Read. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Point at the one that's white like wool. Right. That one over there, right? Well, who the hell is this? Guess what? We're going to find out who that is in a second. That might be Elvis Presley. That might be him, huh? Read. Up. Read. As white as snow. So his head and his hairs were just like yours. Christ had the same thing you had. Read. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. So what color is fire? Blue. No. Fire is red, right? Yes, right. His eyes are like a flame of fire. Why? Christ drunk, drunk wine. The Bible says his eyes will be red with wine. 
What happened when black people drank wine? What, what color eyes did they, they turn? They turn red, right? Well, guess what? Christ drunk wine. So where you think his eyes at? So wait, look at that. Look at those signs over there. Which one do you see? Looks we have red eyes on him. Right over there, right? What color is his eyes? Blue. Yeah. So it's blue. So wait. So again, that's strike two. So guess what? Who is pushing this on us? Where do you see? His, where do you? But where do you see that picture located at? Bring it out. You can see it on the walls and in homes and And everybody's home and the church and the Christian church, right? We gonna keep going. or read. Verse 15, and his feet. Uh oh. So guess what? They want sandals. If I look at your feet, can I tell what color you are? Bring it out. If I look at your feet, right? Yeah, yeah, All right, read. Yeah. And his feet, yeah. like unto fine brass. What color is brass? Brass. Brass is uh, brass. not brown, but uh, brass. Like That's brass, right? Brass, like, yeah. So it's a goldish brown, right? Yeah, yeah. So they, now they say, wait, I looked at his feet. And they were brown, like brass. 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 But it goes even further than that. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. Whoa, if you burn anything in a furnace, what color does it turn? Red. If I take white rice and put it in a furnace or put it in an oven and burn it, it turned dark, turned almost black, right? Yeah. So wait, wait. So if I look, I looked at Christ's feet and it looked like it was bronze burned in a furnace, what color is his feet then? What color is it? Bronze. It'll be black. Your yes. right. Lord and Savior is a black yes. man. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Christ is a black man. So wait, who the hell is this right here? Bring it up. Right here, hey, how you doing, sir? I don't know who that is. Hey, how you right doing, here. sir? Come over here. Just how right you doing today? Yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying. So what I'm trying to do, bro, I'm trying to teach. Shalom, how you doing? Good, I'm trying to teach who we are according to the Bible. I'm, like that? I'm educated. You educated? Trust All right, wait, wait. Let me ask you a question then. Who are you according to the Bible then? I'm, I'm, I'm a king. You're a king, but what, what's your nationality? I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I know, but what's your what tribe are you from? I'm Judah. Judah. You're from Judah. Can you prove it? <laughs> no, you can't prove it. Yes. All right, what, what scripture yes. the Bible? I want you to show Man, me. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm a listen. I'm a king from the tribe of Judah, bro. I want you to stay, sir. I want, I want you to hear. So you're a king from the tribe of Judah. Do you give me Deuteronomy 10 and 12? So if you're a king from the tribe of Judah, and you know you're an Israelite, right? Right. What is required of you? So, um, bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it bring out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring it out. Bring Did you just come from church just now? No. Oh, you're like, okay. No, I want you to watch this. Oh, I'll pray. I'll read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Bring it out. And now Israel. Don't look. Don't look. Read. Read. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. Read. To walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart mm -hmm. and with all thy soul to keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandments. Do you agree with that? I know. Well, do you agree with yes, keeping sir. the commandments? Give me Numbers 15 and 38. So I'm going to show you a commandment, bro, that you're not keeping right now. I done broke all damn laws. But what you supposed to do now? You're supposed to repent, right? But I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you, and then I'm going to show you another. Give it. Read that. It's the book of Numbers, chapter 15, verse 38. Bring it out. Speak unto the children of Israel. And bid them that they make them fringes in the borders of their garments. Look at all these men in purple and black around here. What do we have? We have fringes with a border of blue. That is a commandment. Right. If you see the East Indians, they got dots in their head. That's their thing. If you see the Arabs, they got kofis on there or something like that. That's their thing. You, but when you're our people, we don't have a distinction because we went in slavery and we lost everything we had. Yeah, right. Everything. So guess what? God said, I need you to wear fringes. So this is keeping the commandment. This is your beginning of repentance, man. Give me repentance. This is your beginning, Acts. So this you is your beginning. Fringes, what in the commandment? Yeah, and we just read it. Yeah. That's, that's one of the ten. Yeah, go ahead, finish that. Yeah. That's one of the ten, though. Wait, uh, so you think it's just ten scriptures? No, ten? I'm just saying. I'm, I'm talking about the ten that we're supposed to live by. We live. We need. We need to live by all oh, scriptures. That's, yeah. oh, yeah. that's true. So ten. But true, but we was given down. Ten, ten is based. By. Okay, ten is laws, yeah. but then there's sub laws under that in Leviticus. Right. There's some uh, in Exodus, in Numbers. There's other laws that don't. Yeah. Yeah. That's in the ten, but you got to know how to deep into it. You got. You got. You got. You got the, the old and you got the new. We we take. All of it. Read that. Let me ask you a question. Do you agree with homosexuality? Let me ask you, come on back. We were just talking, bro. No, I don't agree with that, bro. So, you know I don't so is, that in, in, is that in the Ten Commandments? 
it's not. So if you if it's not in the Ten Commandments, you say just go by the Ten. There's yeah, other I mean, laws yeah, in there. That's yeah. Yeah. Tomorrow, yeah. Right, but it's not in the Ten Commandments. It doesn't yeah. say it in yeah. the Ten Commandments. Yeah. So guess what? I mean, we gotta go by I mean, all the scriptures. I mean, yeah. 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 All the scriptures. Common sense. You know what I'm saying? If, if, no, but no, no, if we can't go by common sense. If you're a man, if you're a man, sir, we cannot go by common sense. We have to go by what the scriptures say. You got to have common sense in order to understand the scriptures. No, you gotta have. You gotta ask the Lord. You gotta start keeping the Psalms one level. Bring it up. It's more than common sense. It's more than common sense. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you why. Give me Psalms 111 verse 10. All we try to do, brother, you all brothers, we try to teach y'all what's going on. So you understand, brother? There's some things that you need to work on, and that's what we out here for because we love it. And I all praise. Let's go. It's the book of Psalms, chapter 111 and verse 10. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments. So to get that understanding, that common sense, you have to fear God's judgment for not keeping his commandments. Yes, if you're not wearing fringes, God is going to punish you. Right. If you still eating pork, crab, lobster, shrimp, God is going to punish you. Right. But we're going to go back into Deuteronomy 28 and the curses. Because there's things that you don't know that you are being, somebody is trying to kill you. Right. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native American people are trying to destroy you because you're under curses. God put those curses on us for being disobedient. And like I said, it's only one way to come out of these curses, and that's to keep God's laws, commandments, and statutes. Hey, link that up to him. Put it, tell him our history records out of the Bible. Out of the Bible. Our history out of the Bible. That's what we're doing right now. We're going to show you our history records in the Bible. So what I'm telling the brother right here is that he said we're African Americans. God, you don't see African American in the Bible at all, right? Right. But so I'm telling you, Africa is named after Leo Scipio Africa. That's a white man. That's right. America's named after America Best Future. That's a white man. Right. right. We don't come from two white men, do we? Teacher. Right? Out. We don't come from two white men. So we're not African American. That was a term created by Jesse Jackson in 84. They didn't know what to call us. Right. 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 Hold that. Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. So that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah. Our name has been changed over and over because they don't want us to know who we are. That's our history. I got, right here. I got two names. You do? Yeah. I'm right here. I want look at these signs, bro. Now I want you, I want you to listen to this. This is what happened to us. Read. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. Read. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy inheritance. So now we being called ourselves African Americans, black, nigger, Negroes, coons, porch monkey. God never called us those things. That's right. God has a name for us. That's why we we're showing you that sign over there, because he has a name for us. Go back. So God has a name, and we're trying to show you our history in the Bible. This happened to one group of people. It's these curses. And it's going to show you. You're going to put it together when you see, wait, that happened to me. That's right. right. That happened to me. That happened to me. Right. But God told Moses to speak to the children of Israel. So if that happened to you, and he said, speak to the children of Israel, then who are you? How many times has Moses moved God? How can that get you the kingdom of heaven? Though? I'm just saying. But I'm, I'm saying this too. you asking how many times Moses moved. I don't know. But I'm trying to get you the kingdom of heaven, bro. I'm trying to show you who you are so you can repent. Yeah. Right. So, right, read that. I don't know already. The book of Deuteronomy, right. chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So, watch this. What we're trying to do is show our people our history in the Bible. So, it's saying if we do right by God, He's going to put us high above everybody on this earth. Are we high above everybody on this earth? Or are we the lowest, right? He said we curse. He's going to put us the lowest. That means some bad things are going to happen throughout our history. Watch, read. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So if you don't listen to God's voice, read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So he said, I want you and your children to keep these commandments. That's right. He said, if you do not keep these commandments, That's something's right. going to happen. If you keep it, we're going to be high. Something's going to happen if we don't. Right, read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So I'm going to ask you, the brother really couldn't answer, but I'm going to ask you, is curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing. Oh, praise God. That's common sense to tell you. A curse is a bad thing. Right. Right. Now I'm going to show you some of the curses that we went through, and I want you to put it together with our history. Read. Read. Verse 16. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. So when you go to any city throughout the whole United States or the world, who lives in the worst conditions? Black folks, right? Hispanic folks too. Right. And Native Americans. This was their land, and now they moved to reservations. Right. 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 So guess what? He said, read it again, though. Curse shall thou be in the city. So you're going to be cursed in the city. We was on Wall Street. We was the first commodity of slavery on Wall Street in the city. That is a curse. We were being sold in the city. That's right? right. Free. And curse shall thou be in the field. Say, curse shall thou be in the field. When will we curse in the field? 
was in slavery. You're right, bro. See, you know a little something right now. So we was cursing the field. Look at these signs. We had to chop cotton, corn. He was saying they had to do squash. We had to do all these things. But just who got rich off of that? White folks did. We can't even get two free cotton t-shirts and we picked all that damn cotton. Right. Right? Keep going, read. Verse 17. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. What is a basket used for? To carry something, right? When we go, like when black people go to the store, do we, we spend so much money, we barely have anything in our basket, right? If we open up a store in the neighborhood, do that store usually stay or, or is it gone? It's gone, right? Because they'll open up a neighborhood Walmart. And that, and, you know, we can't compete with those prices. We trying to, we got to pay overhead. Right. So, curse shall I be, and read it again. Curse shall be thy basket and thy store. So, curse is your basket and store. Who is that happening to? Because guess what? I can go to uh, Arabia, they doing well. I can go to China, they doing well. Bring it up. I can here in America, these white people, they doing well. What about my people? You might have one or two that succeed or whatever like that. That's right. But you only get as high as your as your people. Right. So if we all low like this, guess what? All of us are low. That's right. Oprah got her wake up call. She went over there trying to buy from the store. She said, we'll, we'll, we'll sell to niggas over here. And she said, I'm Oprah with you. I don't care what kind of nigga you are. Right. So guess what? She got her nigga wake up call. Because what? We all cursed. God put a curse on us. Right? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth